Would you rather have a clean home or a dirty home? <laughs> We all know clean is better. I mean, it makes common sense that cleaning is good, but when we're dealing with the chemistry and microbiology of homes, common sense doesn't always steer us well. And one of the basic rules of the science of homes is that everything we do to our homes has side effects. So in the interest of predicting and preventing side effects that might spoil things, let's dig into whether cleaning is always a good thing. But first, let's get on the same page. What exactly does cleaning mean? To a kid, it might mean piling all of your stuff in the corner of your room. <laughs> and in some places in the world, it means dusting and wiping or mopping your surfaces with warm water. But here in the US, it generally means something very different. First tool we turn to for our messes will be a vacuum cleaner. And we have almost limitless options when picking our vacuum, but there's only one option that's really critical here, the type of filter. Welcome to your kid's dirty room, where the dust is now sitting peacefully on the floor. And the dust is made of all kinds of different materials and chemicals and tiny creatures. If you have vinyl floors or stain resistant carpets, the dust is impregnated with especially toxic chemicals you don't want in your body or your children's bodies. So we take our handy vacuum and suck all that dust off the floor where it's resting up into the vacuum and blow it up into the air we're breathing. You know how fine of a filter is in your vacuum right now? If you don't care about the quality of filter in your vacuum, I promise you the manufacturer won't either. So now we've taken the dust from a relatively safe resting place and blasted it up into our breathing air where it's definitely unsafe for us. Remember, there's no such thing as a healthy amount of particles to breathe. Also, if you're using a bagless vacuum, please don't empty it by banging it on the side of your kitchen trash can, making a cloud of nastiness. Take it outside, people. So now that we've vacuumed our home, we move on to step two in America, spray cleaners. Everyone knows you never, ever combine ammonia and bleach. The fumes from that chemical reaction will literally kill you. And actually, to keep yourself and your family safe, you should avoid ever mixing any cleaning chemicals. And in fact, the chemicals you clean with, whether they're natural or synthetic, have unpredictable reactions with the gunk on your surfaces too. For example, if you cook with tomato paste or beef and then clean with a chlorine-based spray or use chlorine-based dishwasher detergent, you create lots of very interesting chemistry that can be quite toxic for you and your family. So one piece of solid advice is to avoid chlorine-based cleaners entirely, if you can. But other cleaning chemicals create less studied chemical reactions too. So remember that in many other places in the world where people are serious about being clean, they use soap and water. Soap and water is proven to work. And you won't need to constantly worry about whether you're making your home's chemistry experiment run wild. 